Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Tanya, and I would love for you guys to subscribe if you like what you see so you don't miss out on anything new that's coming. But for today, I have my BoxyCharm unboxing to do for you guys. So I'm going to dive right on in. I always have, like, cat hair all over me. It's just because she sits up here, so. Okay, this month's theme is Downtown Charm. And let's see, you can win, if you get BoxyCharm, if you follow the steps on your card, you can win an exclusive BoxyCharm box worth over $400. I might actually enter this to see if I could win. So, the first thing I see in here is the Real Her Playbook eyeshadow palette, and I got the number one edition. So, this palette is full size, retails for $28. Dollars. Let me see if I can get this open. I wanted the number two or number three because I saw this on Kathleen Light's um, YouTube channel and she didn't really like this one. So it kind of made me not want <laughs> it. It doesn't look like colors I would actually use, but we'll see. Then, okay, so it does have some nice things on the back. It says it's paraben free. Certified cruelty free, natural ingredients, vegan, long wearing, and sulfate free. So those are good qualities if you are looking for a vegan brand. I'm not sure if all their palettes are vegan, but this one is. It does have talc in it if you are someone that doesn't like that. Just to let you know. It smells a little chemically when you open this. But also... Um, there's this little note in the box, the eyeshadow box, it says 20% of all Real Her gross profits are donated to the AAUW, a nonprofit organization, that's the logo on the front, that advances equality or equity for women and girls through scholarship programs, leadership, advocacy, education, research. So that's pretty cool that they do that. So here's what the palette looks like. It's cardboard packaging. You open it up, there is a little mirror with a little film over it, which you can peel off. And then this is the palette itself. Let me... Okay, so this is what it looks like. Actually, I wasn't... I didn't think that I would actually use the colors in this. But I don't know. I think I might actually use this. Am I sure I got number one? Yeah, it says number one. Um, I think I might actually use this. It, you do need another eyeshadow palette kind of for your transition shades. Um, they do have this one right here, which is called Strong. But I definitely think that I would use this eyeshadow palette. And I do think it would be nice to travel with if you brought like a matte palette with you. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch everything with my fingers so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm just going to swatch on my arm and insert a clip here. I'm not getting a lot of pigment at all. Um, I don't know if you can't see that, but I'll show you guys in the swatch. But I'm not getting hardly any pigment, which is kind of scary. The dark shade did give me a little, but those top three light shades, I got hardly anything at all, which sucks. Okay, the black is pretty pigmented, and the last bronze was... For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Fine, which is like this pinky, you can't really tell that it's pink, but it's like a light pinky shade. I'm going to take it on a little eyeshadow brush and put it in the inner corner. I have on old makeup from this morning when I went to work, but I did not want to redo it. It seemed to last pretty good. I'm going to add that in there, and then I'm going to take the shade Fabulous, which is the one in the middle. I'm going to add that under my brow bone. So it does look pretty there. You can see um, it showing up. But it didn't have a lot of pigment when I swatched it on my hand. Or on my arm, rather. But I do think this is a palette I would use. So I am excited that I got it. But we'll see how much I reach for it. <laughs> Since it does have the mats in it and I'm lazy in the morning, I might not reach for it that much, but it is pretty. It's not the most pigmented palette in the world. For $28, I don't know if I would spend my $28 on this because for a little bit more you could get something more high-end that has better pigmentation. 
and different colors, but I mean, the colors, this, from the second row on, these bottom two rows, I um, mean, you do get a little bit more pigmentation, so. so that would just be like one of those hit or miss things, you have to see how it works out. So next thing I see in here is from Luxie Beauty, which is a brush, which I've seen that everyone's brush is like bent up and crickety. Looks like mine is too. Yes, it is. And it has a little extra hair that's already falling out. But <laughs> this is weird. So yeah, it looks like a golf club. Kathleen was right. It's kind of weird. But hopefully once um, I wash it and lay it down like this, it will come back together. I don't know. I hope so because I really like Luxie brushes. I'm going to attempt to use this anyways today. We'll see how it goes. But this is... The Rose Gold Pro Precision Tapered Face Brush, number 640 by Lexi Beauty, and it is $24. So, kind of makes pricey to have a messed up brush, but if you buy it from Lexi, of course, I doubt it'll come in looking like this. It just got kind of stuffed in the box. So, yeah. But I do love Lexi brushes. They are amazing. So, next thing I see in here, I'm actually kind of excited about this. This is from Artist Couture. Um, this is a YouTuber. Um, a YouTuber makes this brand named Mac Daddy. On YouTube, his name is Angel. This is a cruelty-free product, and it is a diamond glow powder in the shade Illuminati. I see Nikki tutorials talk about these on Snapchat all the time, so I was kind of excited to get this and try it out. So let's see. It does come with a little plastic cover that you just pop off, I think. I'm scared. Ooh. Oh no, that's the twisty thing. Oh my god, don't pop that off. There is a... <laughs> There's a piece of plastic in there. Don't be like me, okay? Don't be like me. Peel off your little piece of plastic. And get it all over your pants. <laughs> These pants have to go in the trash anyways. They have a big hole in them. I'm just going to take a little bit on my Luxie brush. Ooh, definitely powdery. I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. You can definitely see the gold showing. I didn't get a lot going. Let me see. Woo! You can definitely see it. The only thing I don't like about it is I think it's like falling into my pores a little bit. But it definitely is really, really pretty. I think if you were doing like an airbrushed photo shoot or something, this would be really pretty because you could kind of airbrush out um, all the pore all the pores that you are showing through here. I'll drop a little bit down the center of my nose and you can definitely see it. It's definitely really pretty, but um, like I said, you can definitely see my pores. But I would, this would be really pretty, like if you're going to the beach to put all over your body. Let's see, and my collarbones don't stick out like that because I'm not that skinny, but I think it would be pretty to be like all over your body. So yeah, let me tell you guys how much this one cost. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it. <laughs> but I can see like pores and my, it's a little sparkly, but I think if I get a little bit more tan, I think it would be really pretty on my skin. This retails for $26.99 and of course it is full size. So, there's just a couple more things in here, and there's like styrofoam in there, so I'm trying to avoid making a cringing face while I pick it up, because I hate styrofoam. So, before I apply the lipstick that's in here, I want to show you guys really quick the masks that are in here. This is the Botanic Fiber Facial Mask. Let's see. There's our three sheet masks by the company BioBell Cosmetics. You get three masks, and the retail price of them is $14.97. Let's see, I think there are different, so I can see different colors in here, so I'll sh quickly show you guys which each one is. So the first one is with pomegranate and hyaluronic acid. It says moisturizes to help the skin appear smooth and firm. The next one is the I Woke Up Like This mask with wild rose and vitamin C. Enhances skin's natural glow. And then the last one is the... It's called Primer, Prep the Skin for a Flawless Makeup Application. It enhances radiance, minimizes pores, and even skin tone. It has tea tree oil, rosehip extract, and vitamin C. 
And the last thing in here I am also excited about because I love these Ofra liquid lipsticks and I do not have this shade. So the shade I got was Santa Ana and it came on the card instead of marked on the lipstick. At first I was like, where, what shade did I get? I don't know. But the um, card also gives you a coupon code, BOXY30, and that will get you 30% off Ofra Cosmetics online. This is full size and retails for $19.90. And let's see what it looks like. I think I'm really going to like this. This is the one I wanted. It was either this one or Tuscany that came. And I really, really wanted this one. So let's see. I do have a little bit of chapstick on. really really pretty I really really like the way that it is coming out on my lips it's like a really pretty like pinky purple but not too bright I think this would be a really pretty shade for the summer pair it with like a bronze lip or just like a really natural maybe like just mascara look Alrighty, and that's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. I really like this color. I would definitely repurchase when I run out. If it gets to that point, I go through a lot of lipsticks, so I don't know if I would ever run out, but these I've rubbed all over my shirt. <laughs> but yeah, that was everything in my boxy charm. If you guys want to join, I'll leave a sign up link below. It is $21. A month and you get five full-size products like I did in this month's box sometimes there's a travel size thrown in there I haven't seen one in a while but I know there's some good things coming to BoxyCharm so like I said if you're interested please sign up I'll leave the link below please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you guys can follow me on snapchat twitter instagram at tanya marie 715 and facebook at diy with tanya and I will see you guys very soon bye